This lesson describes the basic use case of VQNT2, the comparison of two video files. This button is used to specify first file and this one in order to specify the second file. Preview button can be used in order to check if the file opens correctly. Here you can choose the comparison measure and here you can choose the color component. Select this checkbox in order to enable generation of comma separated values files which will contain values for each measure and each video frame and this checkbox is used in order to enable generation of video visualization files for each measure. Select this checkbox in order to enable some additional analysis to the comparison. In order to start the comparison you should press process button and this is the additional analysis window. The top plot demonstrates metric values for all frames of video sequence. The dark area designates the selected area. And the bottom plot demonstrates metric values for all frames of video sequence from selected area. These buttons are used in order to change the size of selected area. And these buttons are used in order to change the position of selected area and the position of current frame which is designated by black vertical line. Here is the metric value for current frame and show frame button can be used in order to start the additional visual analysis of current frame from compared video files. Two files were generated during the comparison process. The first file is the video visualization file. It has its own special meaning for each measure and in case of PSNR, the color designates the difference between pixels from two compared video files. And the second file is the comma separated values file. Here is its content. It contains the information about the measure and color component. Two compared video sequences, the average measure value for the sequence, and the measure values for each frame of the sequence. All the same processing can be performed using the command line tool. There are two compared video files and batch file. Here is its content. This is the path to command line tool and these are the parameters of processing. The principal difference of command line processing is that in this case not only one measure and color component can be calculated at a time. For example, in this case SNR measure is used and it is calculated for all color components. In this case, parallel processing is used, thus achieving significant speed advantage comparing to graphical user interface use case. Run the comparison by executing batch file. As you can see, in this case, video visualization files were generated for each color component, and two comma separated values files were generated. The first one contains average metric values for each color component and each video sequence and the second one contains metric values for each color component and each frame of video sequence. Now you can see the examples of plots which were constructed using the data calculated by the VQMT tool.